repairing the chipped area on male non-skid pattern. Before proceeding with this process, remove flex mold from the tube, and lay flat for 24 hours, at least 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Make sure the PVA on the flex mold is intact. Flex mold is reusable as long as PVA is intact. First, prepare the damaged area and surrounding area with wax. Make substructure repair if needed, and grind down to the bottom of the pattern. Lock the female and male pattern together, then hinge the female pattern to the deck, by using tape. Mix gel coat and check viscosity using a number 4 Ford cup. Ideally, the gel coat should run through the cup in 50 to 60 seconds. Put the gel coat in the corner of the hinge, and keep a wave of the gel coat, out front of the pattern, as you put the pattern down into place. Using squeegee, push out the extra gel coat. Let gel coat cure. Remove excess from lands or lines in between diamonds, with wood stick or piece of formica. Careful not to scratch surface. Then blow off excess gel coat from pattern. Key elements to success. 1. Flex mold should be stored flat in 70 degrees for 24 hours. 2. Wax the whole area before sanding. 3. Make sure PVA is intact. 4. Use a number 4 Zon cup to check viscosity. 5. Use patch aid not acetone to thin gel coat. 6. Use a popsicle stick to remove excess gel coat.